Joining us is uh, Prairie View A&M University Professor of Political Science, Dr. Uh, Price, Dr. Uh, Melanie Price, I'm sorry. Uh, good evening, Dr. Price, and welcome. Thank you for joining us. And what, are your, th what are your thoughts on uh, the polls today? What are you thinking that uh, is I think everyone is surprised by the level of uh, support Biden is getting. Um, you know, he didn't have as much money coming into South Carolina. There was a real question about whether or not he would actually have to drop out of the race. And so tonight he's already won five states and um, people are very surprised by it. And, you know, we talked about uh, just a few moments ago about uh, Biden doing uh -huh. well in the African-American community. Uh, how big was Jim Clyburn throwing his weight behind him in South Carolina as far as uh, rekindling, breathing life back into the Biden campaign? I don't know what Joe Biden could possibly buy for Jim Clyburn that would make up for this, but he certainly owes Jim, uh, J Jim Clyburn a gift. He gave him South Carolina, and then South Carolina gave other voters more confidence that he could actually win a state because of what he did in South Carolina. So we got to see the power of Jim Clyburn, who we already knew was so very well respected in the state, but also in Congress. And so it's been amazing to watch what we could now call the Clyburn effect in politics. Is that why you think that Joe Biden is, is continuing to do well today? I'm not sure that that's totally the case. I think it helps, but also keep in mind there's been lots of early voting. And so I think what we saw is people have started to believe that there are probably two candidates mostly left in the race, and that's Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. And of those choices, African Americans have resoundingly decided that Joe Biden is the one that they're going to support. Now, let's talk about your state uh, of Alabama. Uh, you being with UAB and I, th that's no, senatorial. No, Texas actually. Prairie View, oh, Texas. Oh, Prairie View. <laughs> well, we've been all over the map tonight, but I'm still going to yeah, ask you right. about it's Alabama. A busy night. Okay, the senatorial race going on in Alabama, and how mm -hmm. much it's going to be affected by what happens uh, in this primary today. Well, the, the good news is that Democrats are, Democrats are turning out a lot, and so that should bode well for the Senate race in Alabama. Um, we, the two people, the two groups of people who we know helped in Alabama were African American, particularly African American women and suburban white women. And from what we can tell, the polls are very uh, busy today, and so that should work out for the Senate race in Alabama as well. All right, Dr. Uh, Melanie Price, thank you very much. You do have to pass through Alabama to get to Texas from here. But... You do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for joining us, and have a wonderful evening. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Okay. All right. Good night. Well, everybody's saying that, you know, it's the African-American voters who breathe new life into Joe Biden. Uh, the establishment hadn't really been backing him. It was really African-American voters who were the ones who made the, the case for Joe Biden and, and just he's running away with it now. Yeah, and, you know, and folks need to remember that the election's not over tonight. The election happens in November, so there's still a long way to go.